Hey everybody, it's Jay Kitchen from jaysbeard.com. I hope you're all doing well today. We're going to be doing a review of something that seems to be pretty popular. This is Herod, which is not named after the king. I believe it's named after a racehorse. And it is from Parfums de Marley. Before we jump into the review, if you'd be kind enough to smash that subscribe button and the thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it. It helps us get ranked higher, helps us pop up in other people's video feeds, and it just helps us get seen more. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. I've seen this Parfum, this Herod from Parfums de Marley reviewed by multiple fragrance reviewers, Curly Fragrance, The Scent Guy, all these fellas and ladies. And it seems to get raves from almost every one of the reviewers. Now, I'm not saying that that's weird necessarily, but it is a scent. And scents, I find, don't really make everybody feel the same way about the scent itself. So we're going to read a little bit about the perfume. I sprayed some on myself about 10 minutes ago, and uh, then we'll start talking about what I think about the perfume. Herod by Parfums de Marley is a woody, spicy fragrance for men. Herod was launched in 2012. The nose behind this fragrance was Oliver Peshaw. It is personified by a blend of diverse notes, exuding a smoky vanilla scent. This Eau de Parfum opens on spicy top notes of cinnamon and pepper to then show its powerful heart of tobacco leaf, incense, cyst, and osmanthus. These peppery notes are further surrounded by vanilla pods, musk, patchouli, and woody accord at the base. An elegant and discernible perfume for both men and women, it is the epitome of old world sophistication. Top notes are cinnamon and pepperwood, middle or heart notes are tobacco leaf, incense, osmanthus, and labdanum. Base notes are vanilla pods, musk, woody accord, and patchouli. The website says the best time to wear is to warm up in sophistication mostly during fall and winter. Now, some of the reviews that I've read, not heard, but read, talk about smelling like cigarettes, smelling like tobacco, vanilla, this is awesome, this is horrible, great projection, shitty projection, newer versions are less potent than older versions, all over the place. The general consensus is that this is an awesome freaking scent. We sprayed some, and we're gonna spray some more. I got a five milliliter decant, from Scent Split, uh, a whole bottle, 100 milliliter bottle costs about 300, 350, somewhere in that range. It's not cheap. So we're gonna spray it in the air. I sprayed a number of sprays on myself, probably about a half a dozen. We're just gonna do two more on the back of our hands. Now, what I get initially is super sweet initial notes. I don't pick up any cinnamon. Vanilla, very strong. Now, a lot of people say that they smell like cigarettes when they spray this on themselves. I don't pick that up, and I used to smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. I don't smell cigarettes. I don't smell an ashtray. I do smell the vanilla, though. It's very, very upfront. It seems not to really stick around that long. I think you have to almost overspray this. And I have seen comments about how the projection and the duration is not that wonderful. Now, that's also, you know, it's a very specific kind of thing. Again, you know, we've talked about this a lot. The performance really varies depending on your own body chemistry. It's such a huge freaking variable in these fragrances. It really, really is. Now, a lot of people claim it's the best Eau de Parfum they've ever used. I don't know. I don't think it is. It's definitely not the best one I've ever used. A lot of people say it's the best vanilla scent. I have not explored enough vanilla scents to really give an informed opinion about that. Someone says this is the best cinnamon, pipe tobacco, vanilla, woody scent that I own or that I've smelled. You know, you get a lot of praise. I mean, a lot of very positive reviews. A lot of people say it's my absolute favorite scent. They like the tobacco smell. I'm not really picking that up. Now, maybe I'm kind of retarded when it comes to my center, my smeller. I don't know. It's sweet. It's got definitely sweet vanilla. 
I'm picking up the tobacco. It's subtle. It's really subtle. It's not super strong, not super earthy or dirty or farmyardy. It's more of a sweet tobacco than like a cigar kind of tobacco that's much more dark and earthy and agricultural, shall we say. I mean, here's someone, the sloth god states, I absolutely love it. It smells like an intimate winter night in a log cabin laying by a fire. It's absolute perfect date night fragrance. Gotten many compliments, so on and so forth, but the projection is weak and your scent will not be filling up a room. It is a very intimate smell and the longevity is not great. You'll be lucky to get six hours out of it. It's kind of funny. Many of these hyped strains, when I say hyped, I mean really heavily reviewed strains. I'm not really feeling them, and I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I, I don't have enough information to really say anything negative about whoever's reviewing it. I mean, it's a very subjective kind of a thing, what something smells like to you. Okay. Everybody's chemistry is different. This is okay. It's okay. But there's no way I'm going to spend $300 plus on a bottle of this. It's just not happening. I mean, it's very nice. I'm going to wear it some more. Obviously, I've got a five milliliter decant, so it's not, not going anywhere. It's, it's going to be around for a little while. But I just don't really see what the fuss is about, honestly. I think there are so many other different fragrances that project better, that smell nicer. Maybe I'm a, a snob without even knowing that I'm a snob. It's, it's nice, I'm not, don't get me wrong. And there are so many people that love it, I have to believe that there is a significant cohort of you folks out there who would really, really dig this. We are gonna come back in a little bit to sort of follow up on the initial spraying of this thing because I, I honestly I'm kind of confused at why everybody loves this so much and I'm just not really feeling it. Am I that weird? Don't answer that. <laughs> Don't answer that. No flipping. We'll be right back. We are back. It's about three hours after we did the initial application of the Perfume de Marley Herod. It is still lingering. It hasn't disappeared. You know, people talk about bad projection, gone in 30 minutes, whatever. I'm not getting that. It has faded without a doubt, but it's still present. And I did notice more tobacco notes as it dried down and kind of settled. It's still strong vanilla, strong vanilla scent. And a lot of people like that. And I don't have a real problem with it, but it's a little bit too vanilla-y and sort of sweet. For my personal preference, I prefer a little less, just more of like a hint of the vanilla. And that's going to be part of, you know, my, I hate to use the word journey, it's so cliched. My exploration of a lot of these scents that are out there, a lot of them use tobacco and vanilla in combination. So I'm curious to see and check out other scents that are similar, at least in name to this profile. Again, it's nice. It is giving me a little bit of a headache. I have to be honest. It's a little bit intense for me now. Maybe something else going on in my life, but I don't think so. It's a nice scent. Clearly, a lot of people who use fragrances really, really love this. So I'm not going to say don't get it. It's not for me, but if you have any interest in this kind of scent, I would say get a decant or go to a perfume shop that sells it or a department store that may have it in stock and have testers. Check it out. It's well worth exploring, but again, you know, it's not something that I would spend 350 bucks on or even more. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. Please tell us why. Subscribe. Again, smash the thumbs up button or the thumbs down, depending on your preference. In the meantime, be kind to other human beings and their critters. Stay lifted, stay well-groomed, stay smelling awesome, and we will check you on the next video. We love you. Cheers, everybody.